Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward. This is Jake. I know we just did this update yesterday, but things have changed. I, I know that you guys probably saw the news yesterday. Our governor put a mask mandate, but he also put some exemptions on that after meeting with the elders last night and us consulting most of the afternoon and evening last night. We've come up with a plan, and here's the plan. Uh, we are not going to require mask but we are gonna strongly suggest you wear mask. Uh, the exemption for churches and for obtaining or accessing uh, religious services uh, say that um, we don't have to wear a mask. Now, I know some of you may interpret that as, hey, we all need to wear a mask. Uh, some of us are like, we're never gonna wear a mask. So I really wanna remind you this, is that we wanna be under authority and our authority here on earth is our is our government and we've said from the very beginning of our elders we were going to follow the CDC guidelines we were going to follow our governor guidelines number one because we want to be under authority and we want that blessing but number two we want to be a good witness for those that are around us again I know some people are struggling with this whole deal others of you are not struggling at all in this whole process but here's what I know in the, in the New Testament they struggled with law they struggled with do we eat meat sacrificed to idols do we not eat meat sacrificed to idols and I remember Paul's instruction was so clear if if it offends someone to eat meat then don't eat meat in front of them and why for the sake of the gospel and so what we're gonna say is that we're not gonna mandate it because the the governor's uh, mandate does not say we have to right. but we're strongly encouraging you to wear a mask on Sunday uh, I will be wearing a mask before the service I won't wear the mask while I preach uh, our band is going to be wearing masks except when they're on the stage leading us in music and so we just want to say to you we're not mandating it uh, at this time because the governor is not mandating it around religious services that could change, and, and I think that was your whole encouragement yesterday morning, Jake, mm -hmm. that this isn't the first time we've faced these things in history. It's the first time we've navigated it as a culture and as a people, and so we are asking for grace from you as things change very quickly. Um, over the next few weeks, days, all of this could change again this afternoon, Jake. Yeah, I keep, uh, my, uh, I keep my Twitter feed on refresh because I never know when another announcement is coming uh, the reality is is in two hours after we make this video we may have to come back and make another one yeah I hope not well me too and and that's the whole thing is we we've, we've got to be um, fluid during this season remember why we exist we exist to connect people to God and others that's through relationship and and that is simply the gospel we want to share the good news with people and that's what we want to do that's why we exist as the church so we love you um, don't have to wear a mask on Sunday we strongly recommend you do uh, also if you feel like it's just too dangerous for you to come on Sunday you're off the hook we love you that's why we're still doing that live feed at 9 and 11 so you guys can join in with us and be a part of that and uh, that that's still going to be available and and that's getting better uh, each week so uh, that's kind of where we are and I know if you still have questions um, be patient with us as we kind of work through this out all the elders uh, and I agreed last night we're not gonna mandate it but we're gonna strongly suggest you wear them so we love you can't wait to see you Sunday and uh, we'll see you soon